Brian here with Miss Cora, and we are going over our intermediate, which is our green, blue, and purple belt techniques for grappling. This is our block six youth and teen curriculum. We're just gonna go over the hip throw that we covered from our yellow and orange belts, and we're gonna add on the arm bar, okay? So, uh, Miss Cora, I love how she, she says, we wanna slap and bump uh, each time before, okay? That way both, uh, both students are ready. Now here I'm coming in for the T position, I step in, and this one I grab, the left hand that I grab for the throw, since we're all throwing on the same side, I pull up, okay? Now, I'm going to put my shin here, and I'm gonna put my hand on the mat, okay? I don't wanna just oh, drop all my weight on them, I'm supporting weight on my hand, so I don't drop all my weight on their ribs or in their arm, okay? I just throw that leg over the head as I sit back. A lot of times, We'll get our order operations messed up and we'll sit back to throw the leg over the head. She'll just come right on up and then it's hard. And she kind of passes sometimes. She definitely can't. Okay? Another really important thing is we can help our partner take a real we're gonna go over break falls this spot, but how to help our partner take a really good break fall by kind of pulling up on their arm and guess what? That helps the arm more. Okay? So we go here, I come into the underhook. This is the arm I'm gonna arm bar there. Look, I didn't just huh, drop all my weight on it. If you're doing that, try and get better at it. When I sit down, I stay close to the hips like this. That way she can't run away and stuff. She, got, she has a lot of escapes and I'm limiting them by being so close to her. I either keep this under my armpit, if I do it's really tight, or I can just lay back like normal and finish it with my hand, okay? That is our Ogoshi, our major hip throw to the arm bar. Okay, now we're going to go over the green, blue, and purple belt ground techniques. So, Mr. Brian's going to have me in his guard. So, we're, um, I expect my green, blue, and purple belts to still be able to um, demonstrate kimuras and guillotines. So, we're kind of already assuming that they know how to do these techniques. So my hands are in the hips. Mr. Brian's gonna do the same entry as the yellow and orange belt. He's gonna reach around for his Kimura. Now that he's got the super grip, I need to start defending. So I'm gonna bring my knee up. I'm gonna grab the inside of my thigh. When I drop this knee, I'm gonna raise my other knee. From here, I'm gonna push his leg down and I'm gonna step over, okay? Now, I think this is three moves at once. I'm gonna drop my knee, I'm gonna raise my other knee, and I'm gonna swim my arm through. So I drop this knee, and a lot of times I'll put my hand on the mat to help me. I'm gonna drop, I'm gonna raise, and I'm gonna turn my thumb to the sky. From here, we're gonna reach and grab our partner's neck, and I'm gonna pull him up. My knee's still up, pulling him up. Now that I'm here, I'm gonna fall to my side, I'm going to get my seat belt and set my other hook. So now we're in back mount. So my green, blue, and purple belts, they're defending the Kimura and taking the back. When he reaches for that, I bring my knee up. I'm going to drop it as I raise my other knee. I'm going to push his knee down and step over. I'm going to drop my knee, raise my other knee. I'm gonna bring my thumb to the ceiling as I swim this around. Grabbing my partner's neck, pulling them up. Now I'm gonna fall, get my seat belt, take his back. One more time. Keep Morris. Same setup for the guillotine. Now from here, this hand is gonna go across his neck very tight. I'm gonna kinda help him fall back. As he falls back, he thinks he's gonna get the choke. I'm gonna fall back and raise my hips. From here, if his guard is still closed, I'm gonna push this down. And now, I'm going to hop out of this guard. So, I'm gonna raise one leg, and I'm gonna jump over using my hand. From here, now I'm inside out. He cannot choke me from here. From here, 
I can loop my head out or I can even start to choke him. I'm not worried about this grip. I'm past the guard. The only way he can choke me is if he gets his guard back. So we're safe here. He goes for his guillotine. Coming here. A lot of people will already open their guard because they're going to feel this choke. And even during this instruction, I'm, light, I'm being light on this so I don't choke him out. Now, I'm just going to jump out from here. We're safe. I can put shoulder pressure and get the tap, but that's going to be safe for the red and brown belt technique. This time, we're going to say he doesn't open his guard. Here, pushing this down, and I'm just going to use my hand to help the base, pop over, and we're in the clear. Kimura, more defense. Guillotine, guillotine defense to the pass. So 